How's it going, everybody? For the third time in as many NCAA tournaments, the University of Hawaii men's volleyball team is headed to the national championship match as the Rainbow Warriors survived a serious scare against Ball State in the semifinal round. The defending national champions who suffered a series sweep at Ball State four months ago played without starters Jakob Tella, Guillerme Voss, and Chaz Galloway then and tonight needed all three of them as the Bows took the opening set before Ball State started to ball out, taking the next two to put Hawaii's backs against the wall. But experienced in high-pressure situations, the champs answered the call, forcing a fifth frame and in the decisive set, rose to the occasion in all phases of a 15-11 winner, Tella with 55 assists as the Greek connection of Demetrius Mouklios and Spiros Hakas had a combined 38 kills as UH advances to face arch-rival Long Beach State in the national championship on Saturday. Our Alan Hoshida is in Los Angeles and has more from Hawaii's road to the championship. Back out here at Pauley Pavilion where the Rainbow Warriors had their final four matchup against Ball State. Revenge would have been a great word to use for this matchup because Ball State took care of Hawaii earlier this year in Muncie, but UH was trying to deflect that notion all of the off day yesterday, so I'm using redemption. Redemption, if the Bows could knock off the cards and in doing so, advance into their third straight national championship game. And they did just that, but it was touch and go there for a bit. It didn't look good. Ball State won the second and third sets behind a smothering block, but as champions do, Hawaii rose to the occasion with their backs against the wall to win the fourth and then blitz Ball State in the fifth to become the first team to book three trips to the title game since UH. UCLA did it in the mid-90s. There is no doubt the Bows are national powerhouse. I can't even, I, you know, I can't really even fathom that. I don't know historically when the last time a team played in the final game three consecutive years. Um, but it's a hell of an achievement, I'll tell you that. It's hard to win. Winning's hard every night, and getting into the tournament's hard, and getting into the national semifinals hard. And we'll look back on whether wherever this ends up, how many times we do this. But we certainly don't take it for granted. And I think it, it uh, you know, it needs mentioning too that the Big West as a league is without question the best league in men's collegiate volleyball. The Big West will be four-time national champions tomorrow. I've been a part of this program for only two years. That's my second year. But I feel like there's been great work. Uh, there's been great work over the last five, six, seven years. And I think that shows the results are great. We've been to back-to-back -back national championship games. And we're here for another one. We'll do our best to bring another one back to Hawaii. Sweet, sweet redemption. It's crazy what happens when you put the best setter in the country back into your starting lineup. Now Jakob Tella and company are just one win away from defending their national championship. And guess who they have? Arch nemesis Long Beach State. A rematch of the 2019 title game that Beach won. So, you know, Hawaii. They won't return the favor. 2 p.m. Hawaii time, 5 p.m. local time on ESPN2. That is on Saturday. Of course, we'll be here for the final stop on the road to the championship. Reporting from Tinseltown, I'm Alan Hoshida, KHON2 Sports.